Hey everyone, welcome to a D Machine speedrun guide for Solo. We're going to jump straight into it, starting off, make sure you have the M16 as it is a very high powered gun. And the first five rounds, we're just going to be killing zombies as quickly as possible. There's going to be a lot of cuts here because I don't want to waste you guys' time. But starting off, the zombies normally spawn in the same spot. So as soon as you spawn in, turn around, kill the zombies with the M16. Then look at the main barricade, you know what I'm talking about. And the zombies should spawn there. The first two rounds will, will be in the starting room, so you can just see me slaying them with the m16 and as soon as you finish round two you want to head over to the knacked door open that and we're going to head up to the top of knacked where the spawns will be a lot faster than staying in the spawn room so we'll be able to kill the zombies a lot faster and get to round six as fast as possible so we're just going to sit up here as if we were doing the ring of fire strategy and we're just going to be spawn killing the zombies sorry my quality is not the greatest but um it is what it is so we're just going to camp here as you can see me doing and we're going to sit up here with just the M16, killing the zombies as fast as possible, try and get as, he as many headshots because these are save up points. And here, we just skip forward, you can see I have 8,000 points. We're about to hit round 6, and as soon as we hit round 6, we're going to speed off, turn around, open this barricade, and we need to make our way down to the Pack-a-Punch room where we're going to turn on the power, and then we're going to begin the next um, step in this speed run, I guess. Make sure you have enough points. Um, once we've turned on all the anomalies ready, we've turned on the power and the anomalies ready to teleport into the Dark Ether for the first time, we're actually going to save up some more points. And the reason for that is, while we're in the Dark Ether, we can use the Wonder Fizz machine and we're going to use that to acquire Stamina Up, which will, which will obviously save a lot of time throughout the, the duration of the run as we'll be able to get to A to B a lot faster. So turn the terminals on, terminals on here, follow the route that I do. We don't need to worry about the zombies right now. Um, but as soon as I turn on this next terminal, I'm going to start knifing zombies in order to stack up my points before when we go into the Dark Aether. So I have 2,800 points. I accidentally picked up a nuke here. You don't really want to progress into the next round because round 7 will be a dog round. Now I have 3,300 points because of that nuke. Um, you would normally have a lot more. But it's not a big deal that I picked up the nuke at the end of the round. I'm just going to save the dogs. So what I do here is I pick up stamina up. And then I head down as if I'm going to just get the Pack-a-Punch part. Luckily, my Pack-a-Punch part was in the pond. So I pick up the part and I jump down here. And what you want to do, we're going to be doing our first speed run trick, I guess. Um, so you want to kill the dog. We don't have the canister yet to upgrade the wonder weapon. You know, well, you know what I mean. But we kill the dog next to where the canister would be. And that will actually fill up the canister early on. So we don't have to wait for another dog round or a dog to come. Now... We're going to place the Pack-a-Punch part in the Pack-a-Punch machine and now we're going to do the Coffin Dance Easter Egg. But we're also going to glitch out so that we're able to collect the Aether Scope parts at the same time. So follow what I'm doing here. I'm shooting the, the orbs in this order. You want to shoot this one here is going to be the last one that we're going to shoot, the one up top. And what we're going to do, you'll see me shoot it in a sec. As soon as I shoot it, give it like half a second and then you want to use this portal to enter the Dark Aether. Now there's a chance... That your portal won't spawn here every single time so there you can see i shot the orb and then i jump into the ether and now if your portal's there the ether scope parts will be in this order every single time so just follow my route here we're going to pick up the first one down here and then we're going to use the the portal to go up to next now if your if your dark ether portal wasn't there then i would recommend checking out mr waffle waffles video on the guide for where the ether scope parts spawn in accordance to what um dark ether portal you got but I'm going to assume for the purpose of the tutorial that your ether portal for the pack a bunch room to get the ether scope parts spawned there. So just to recap, we the, well that was yeah. So there I just picked up the the second ether scope part. Now there's going to be a lot of dogs spawning in, so you want to be ready here. Now here I've got to show it, but I went back and got it later in the game. Make sure you pick up the fire D machine fuse there from the little box. So shoot the box, pick it up, and then you're going to pick up the final ether scope part turn around shoot all the dogs because then there's going to be a serious abundance of dogs then we're going to go back downstairs build the ether scope now you want to pray that you get the d machine out of the box from the coffin dance easter egg i didn't so i'm going to show you what to do if you don't get it but if you do that's great that's awesome now you want to come in here activate the portal that we should have by this point pick up the diary and then we're going to just do all three of the anomaly, anomalies, so just follow what I'm doing here. Press the anomaly, give them the book. I'm just going to do all three of these in order as fast as we can. 
um, and then afterwards I'll show you what to do if you don't get the D machine from the box. But on a, on a very really optimized run, you'd you'd just you'd reset if you don't get the D machine from the the coffin dance. But if you don't, so yeah, this is what we do. We don't we didn't get the D machine from the box, so you want to get the card obviously, and do the 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 coffin. You know this this Easter egg to get the three D machine. You guys know what I mean. I'm assuming that you guys know all the stuff. I'm just showing you a basic guide on how to do the speed run. As soon as you've got the D machine, shoot the box up there to get the flask down, and then we're going to suck up the canister. Remember, we already technically filled up the canister with the dog earlier on, so pick up both of them. Now here, I didn't show it in my gameplay, but you want to either get Mayak while you're in the dark ether, or just a normal boss zombie to break that thing. And then we can place the flask, run downstairs, press the password on the computer, then we're going to run back upstairs, enter the dark ether, and then we can head down, there's a portal going down there. Um, I didn't show me putting the flask in, but you want to just basically just do the fire D machine part as quick as you can. Press the fuse and then pick up the canister in the thing. You place it in and then you can just pick it straight back up as it doesn't need to be filled up. And then as soon as we've done the fire easter egg part, we're going to go straight in to getting the lightning D machine. Now there's a very specific part or path that you want to follow. So just do exactly as I do here. Um, I did mess it up a little bit, but I'll explain that in a little while. But I've got the normal D machine, the die shock wave. You just want to run up here, and we're going to suck this one from down below. First of all, this is the first one you want to get. You make sure you want to make sure this needs to be in the most optimized run of your life, right? You need to do exactly as I do. You know, here, place, hold X to place the thing, knife it, and then we're going to press the box, and then quickly run, jump down. I'll be switching that over. You don't need to stand by the box to switch over the ammo. The reason for that is that just saves a little bit of time so we don't have to keep running up and down stairs in order to replace. So we've still, it doesn't show that I've got the spark in the D machine or the D shockwave, but I do still in fact have it on my gun. So we're going to run downstairs, wait a second there, because for some reason, I don't know if this is um, a problem on the new consoles, but the old consoles, it takes a little bit, little while for the box to spawn in. So you put the lightning bolt in there, shoot your D Nova at the thing, and then we're going to run to the, the portal. Uh, in the corner of the room near speed cola I didn't do that in my run which messed it up a lot because this needs to be exactly so this pathing needs to be perfect so as soon as you've shot the uh, the D Nova at the pod to make the, the, the prong go up I guess you want to head straight for that portal and head back up and then you want to switch out the D Nova to the the fire one shoot a shot from it so you can suck up the spark that is in the pond then we're going to head down the portal here this is the most optimized way of doing this this step i guess um, um so yeah we're just going to head down place the spark in the box i'll wait a second for the box to spawn in otherwise it won't register it glitches out and then i head back up to this room now i ran out of time here and i didn't show it in my video so i will explain so normally you'd want to use the fire gun to make the prong go up now here i messed it up big time so i actually ran out of time because i didn't take the right path but essentially you, all you want to do is just run up the stairs run to the juggernaut and then just suck up the final spark that you would need to make the final prong or to, to get the the D, the shockwave, you know, the, the electric one. But as soon as we've got all four of the, or three of the sparks, we can then just use the final um, electric shockwave and the ice shockwave, or the D machine, you know, what the, the electric one, electric and ice wonder weapons, to make the final two prongs go up. I did, I'm sorry I didn't show that in this video, but I messed up and then didn't record it. And then we're just going to move on to the dark wrench. So as soon as all four prongs are up, the portal will spawn in. And we can press the anomaly to get the wrench. So just follow my path in here. I'm going to pick up the wrench and then we're going to head all the way. I like to head through Pack-A-Punch in order to get to the spawn room. Um, I believe this is the quickest way. I'll do a little slide down here. Probably lost me a bit of time, but whatever. Um, jump up this rain and we're going to run to spawn. Now, if you don't have a Semtex, you can always buy it from the workbench right near this tank. If not, just do the dark ether wrench step as normal. Just tap on the tank a few times, shoot the zombie. I don't know if you actually have to shoot the zombie at the top, but um, I, I like to do it, you know. So tap on the tank for a Semtex. If you don't have one, buy it from the shop. And then we're just going to head up to where the golden ball is. And we're just going to pick it up and just run for it. Because a lot of dogs will spawn in and it will it'll waste our time if we're going to sit there and just take out the dogs, really. So we just want to pick up the ball. And run as fast as we can down to the well, I don't even know what the room's called, the speed cola room. Um, now, 
in an optimized run, because I had to wait a few rounds to get the D shock wave from the, the side easter egg, I don't have a boss zombie already spawned in. If you're really optimizing this, you'd have a boss zombie spawned in, ready to kill in this room to be sucked up into the pod. However, I didn't have that, so I had to wait a few rounds for the zombies to spawn in, which lost me a ton of time. Um, but as soon as you do get a boss zombie spawn in, that is when you want to suck them up here. And now I'm going to be showing you two really cool tricks. Um, so the first one is to skip this cutscene. So normally you'd be stuck in this room and have to wait for the entire cutscene to finish. And then you'd have to run upstairs to press the portal. However, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of this room. So as soon as I see um, all abs spawn in, you can stand where I did, look where I did, and then just use your ether shroud. And... It will teleport you out of the room basically and then we're just going to head up to Nact, wait there until that cutscene's finished and then the portal will spawn in and then we're already here luckily to press the portal straight away so that saves quite a bit of time instead of having to run all the way upstairs press the portal now here this is really really important so we're going to press this so that this this cutscene can be progressing and then we're going to head outside into the spawn room and we need to kill as many zombies as we can in a short space of time as we can we need to so the objective what we're doing here before the cutscene finishes is to get our ether shroud charged up so that we can glitch out of the out of the the boss fight basically so that'll save us a ton of time basically it basically makes the boss fight a lot easier you need to charge up your ether shroud so here you can see my ether shroud is charged up the cutscene finished i can pick up the family photo and we're going to be heading in to the boss fight i pick i bought speed cola i didn't show you being show you me buying it but i bought speed cola in order to recharge my ether stride a lot quicker but essentially as soon as you get into this into the boss fight look at olav but before the fighting starts before the zombie starts spawning in come to the corner of this door look where i do at the corner of the staircase and you can just use your ether shroud i like to wait a few seconds just in case i break the game or something you know you never know what can happen so stand where i did look where i did use your ether shroud it'll teleport you out of the room i don't know if this will get patched soon i imagine it will but now it's pretty much plain sailing from here so what I like to do, I like to come to the pond area, and you can sit on top of the plane wing. The plane wing would probably it's probably the safest place to be, really, you know, because there's going to be my axe spawning in. Um, that you're going to be under attack basically, so don't put, let your guard down just because you're up here. But basically, you're just going to wait up there, survive. You know, it doesn't matter how many zombies you kill because all of the zombies are not going to be attacking Olav, so it's going to be the fastest way. There's going to be no distractions for Olav to de destroy the machine, basically. He'll destroy it. You just need to survive up here. Buy monkey bombs if you can, you know. And then you're just going to wait for the helicopter to come down. You don't even need to run from the downstairs area here. I nearly got caught in between the helicopter. But the helicopter comes down. You get in. That's the end of your speed run. You know, it's a pretty good. It's pretty, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, basically.